Happy birthday as well. You always find a lady's courtyard. An solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the YMDJL Y001. This is an FM portable radio with Bluetooth and MP3 player. This retails on Amazon for $16.99. I got mine on sale for $13.99. They had a black model and a blue model. Uh, they show red here in the picture, but I didn't see red available, so I got the black one. Uh, yeah, so pretty neat device. It reminded me of the J328, and I thought I'd give it a go. So let's go see what this thing can do. There you go, there's the box. It says headset jack, repeat play, power off memory, FM radio. Yeah, power off memory is nice if you got like a long podcast or an hour long uh, program. Voice recorder, charging protection, LED, TF card play. Okay, so all that wireless speaker with FM radio. And back here, warm tips. <laughs> the, yeah, guys, wow, that's pretty funny. <laughs> you get the idea. Um, specifications FM radio, 70 to 108. Speaker, 40 millimeters. That's about one and a half inches. Uh, there you go. It's got a nice low end to it, which is nice. Uh, good mid range. Uh, Type C charging interface. I like that. Product dimensions in millimeters. There you go. And there we are. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up, see what we get in the box. Greeted with the radio on top. Nice. A little protective sleeve. I like to see that. Underneath this uh off camera here. Stuff underneath that little tray. And the box is empty. Let's see what we get in the box. We get a carry strap. Cool. Nice. Always good to have those. We get a USB to Type-C uh, charging cable. This is really nice. I'm really a fan of the Type-C. This is really taking off with our portable devices, portable radios. Glad to see that. Next, we have the user manual, which we're just going to flip through really fast. So, boom. There you go. There you go. Freeze frame if you need to, in case I miss something, which I probably will. These little devices have hidden features that I forget sometimes, but it's fairly basic. So for the price, you're getting something cool, and then you're getting something not so cool. So I'll give you the, the good and the bad and the ugly. <laughs> All right, so that's it. There's manual to the radio. I say this thing is a dust magnet and a fingerprint magnet. It's high gloss plastics, um, but you know, it's pretty compact size. It's just slightly bigger. We'll show you that in a second. Then the 328. I'm a fan of the 328, by the way. It's my uh, daily carry radio right now. Um, so yeah, let's uh, go over dimensions and we'll talk about this little Y001 or YMDJL, which is, how do you pronounce that? YMDJL? <laughs> I have no idea. So here we go. Dimensions are 2 and 1 of an inch in width. We have a length of 4 inches and we have a depth of 7 eighths of an inch. A little size comparison, yeah, J328 is my fave. Um, there you go. Uh, this radio does do some things a little bit better than the 328. Um, there are some things I like about this. And then, of course, the 328 does some things I love that this one does not do. And we'll talk about that. But there you go. For size comparison, we have CC Pocket. So definitely smaller than the CC Pocket. Give you an idea. And last but not least, we have a deck of cards. There you go. For size comparison, it is longer, taller, I mean, than a deck of cards. Not as wide. And about as thick. There you go. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Bluetooth speakers with FM radio, man. Okay, he's going to fly away. <laughs> right, we're going to lower this down, and we'll go for features of the Y001, and why you'd want one, and why you would not want one. <laughs> that kind of rhymed a little bit. So, features. Left-hand side, we got the carry spot uh, strap area where the lanyard mounts. Here we'll have a DC input, 5 volts, Type-C jack, nice. Uh, micro SD card slot, uh, I have it populated with a 16 gigabyte card. It does not come with one, you have to provide your own. But it sits nice and flush and is spring-loaded. To the front of the radio, when I turn it on, um, actually I'll do that right now, Just flip it on so you can see. It's got a uh, 
Am I on? There we go. Um, this is high. It's got a red LED display. Uh, in person, my camera's making this look orange. This is like bright red, like these top two. I don't know why the top two like nice and red. Must be a lens thing that they use, polarization lens. But uh, it's this basic display. Let's go ahead and turn that back off. Um, you'll notice the buttons. They are rubber coated, but they're clicky. So I feel like these are going to last because it reminds me of the J328. And these are really nice too. These are actually a little louder. Um, I like the 328's buttons. They're a little larger, a little easier to mess with there. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can enter in your frequencies for FM. Uh, this has auto scanning. So if you want to do FM, uh, you press and hold, pause play, and it'll automatically scan the band and save the presets. And you can navigate those by these two keys or by hitting one, two for memory preset 12, things like that. Or if you're an MP3 player, if you have 100 tracks, you put in 100 and I'll take you to the track 100. So that's how that works. Pretty basic, very simple MP3 player, nothing elaborate there. We have a lockout button there on zero. And down here it says delete. That deletes your recording. You can make recordings with this and we'll talk about that. It also has a repeat function. You can see it's got a repeat uh, symbol there and it repeats all in one folder or all, I mean, sorry, all files on the SD card or repeat one song over and over. The M key is the mode key. So FM, Bluetooth, or MP3 mode. You'll notice it says record and people get excited because on this radio, when you press record, it records the FM radio. When you hit record here, it just initiates the microphone and that's all it does. And it's a pretty crummy microphone at that. So you won't be doing any kind of microphone recording. If you're curious, it records at 128 kilobits per second at 16 kilohertz. It's very weak on volume. You can barely make it out. I was holding the thing probably a foot away from my face talking to it, and it sounded pretty pretty weak. Um, so, but this record here records the FM radio, plus it records auxiliary in. They give you a special cable, so you can actually do a line in recording with this radio, the 328, and it also records a microphone. So this does three types of recording. This only does one. This is looking good, isn't it? <laughs> For a few dollars more. Um, yeah, that one's $16.99, by the way. Uh, here we have track back, track forward, rewind, fast forward. Those are nice. They work well. Um, and this does remember uh, where you're at on your MP3. So if you're listening to an hour-long podcast and you're halfway through, it will save when you turn off the radio. Now, the only thing with this thing is when it's playing the track, it just shows track number. It doesn't show any elapsed time. So you don't know where you're at in the track unless you're familiar with the track. So that's kind of a bummer. LED button. Yeah, there's a little LED on top. And it's probably about three to five lumens. It's about as bright as those dollar keychain flashlights you can buy in a budget bin. Yeah, you're not going to be using that much. Right hand side of the radio, we got that on off switch, which is actually kind of funky. It feels kind of tough to move back and forth, but it works. Uh, we got digital volume control. Again, fingerprint magnet here. Top of the radio, we do get a normal antenna, which the 328 does not have. So this is a bonus. This radio just excels on FM reception. That is its shining grace. <laughs> um, this is eight inches long. It's not very long, but boy, does it do the job. It's surprising how good this little thing picks up stations. I am impressed. We'll talk about FM reception a little bit. There's the LED on top. Uh, here's a headphone jack. A headphone jack experience, um, you're not going to use it. I'll plain tell you, uh, it does have no level hit, no low level hiss, which is nice, but there's no FM stereo, no stereo on Bluetooth, and no stereo MP3. That's kind of depressing. Also, expect weak lows, weak mids, and a lot of highs um, on the FM radio, and plus weak volume, which is pretty sad. When you're on Bluetooth and MP3, expect weak lows again, a moderate mid, so you get some mids now, and some heavy highs again. So it's just not a great headphone listening experience. I did not enjoy it. So there's that. This is great as a speaker, but not as a headphone user. Now I forgot to mention the speaker down here is a 40 millimeter speaker, one and a half inches. It's got decent sound. I would say it's really close to the 328s. The 328 actually has a little bit more bass to it. This has a little bit more fidelity to it. So depending on what you're listening to, like old time radio sounds really good on here. But music tracks sound really good on here. So if I'm listening to FM radio, it sounds nice on here. Here, beautiful sounding with the old-time radio shows. So, and music sounds good on this too. This just has a little edge because it has a little bit more highs in the speaker. I do like that. So kind of going back and forth so you know the comparisons. 
Um, uh, it's sealed unit, so there's a rechargeable battery on the inside. It takes a couple hours to charge. There's no way that I can tell. You might be able to pry this open and replace it. Yeah, there's a seam here. I uh, might be able to pop it loose and see what's in there. Hopefully it's replaceable if you want to. I mean, it's $13.99. Probably just buy a new radio if you like it that much. Um, there's that. How many presets do you get? They don't mention it. Uh, when you do auto scan, I'm guessing there's at least 50 or, or up to 100. I'm sure they, it's easily done that, you know, saves almost every station. So usually when they don't save presets for an FM radio like this, it means it can save up to 100 typically. Um, so what else do we got here? I talked about repeat one all. So yeah, let's uh, turn it on and we'll do a uh, little demo and for a few minutes. Now you can compare this to my other videos, even with the J328's video. So maybe you'll hear a difference in fidelity. and starring Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. Fast forward. Way out to this fancy French restaurant. Keep your chin up. We're doing it for Aunt Effie now. She's treating us and she wants us to do it in style. Mm. The Damon Runyon Theater. Thank you. 
That's uh, one of my favorite uh, radio shows, by the way. I like that one. The Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. <laughs> Hello, Duffy's Tavern. Where do you eat? Meet the Archie the manager speaking. Duffy ain't here. Oh, hello, Duffy. Well, it looks like spring is here. Yes, yeah, spring. And the whole world kind of lousy with Mother Nature's lovers so and can... wonders. <laughs> turn this off and you can turn it back on. Should remember where you're at. Lover uh, wonders. <laughs> well, I might start this Just handy. over again. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and change modes. Bluetooth device is ready to pal. So if you had a Bluetooth, uh, like an MP3 player or that, you could hit it, it automatically finds it as Y001, and boom, you're done. You can control the MP3 player from here, pause, play, track forward, track back. You just can't for fast forward or rewind with your MP3 players or phone. It's just simple tracks, pause, play, and then answer calls. Uh, but there's that, and then we can go to the FM radio. So it's kind of like a new twist on it, and it's getting a lot of girls. I'm inducting it with my touching it. So what I'm going to do is just raise the antenna. I'm not even going to hook it up to a wire. So we're going to see what it does. Auto scan here. You know, how do you confront your... So you just press and hold play. It's going to start at 70. It goes fairly quick, though, so we should be able to uh, sit here and uh, go through this. But while it's scanning, kind of hold it up so we get better reception. Let's talk about the uh, J328. This has FM stereo. Yes, FM stereo on the headset and sounds pretty good. Not just lists of Let me turn monthly. the volume down while it's doing that. Um, this has FM stereo and it records FM stereo. So when you hit record on your favorite app song you're listening to, it'll record it in all its glory in FM stereo. That's absolutely amazing. I do love having that. Um, like I say, it does the line in recording as well with the uh, USB cable provided with the unit. Um, also, this has folder navigation. If you look at one and two, it has Fs on them. This, if you have multiple folders of music on your MP3 card, you can actually navigate the folders with this one and two button. Uh, again, very handy. Uh, this also shows elapsed time uh, while you're using it. So we'll see how many uh, stations is found. But yeah, just so you know, 328 has a lot going for it. Um, so we'll do final thoughts on that when we're ready. So let's go ahead and see what this found for the FM band scan. To poverty programs, it's easy to persuade people to get rid. And then we'll just do next and forward here. Have struggles, and no one is helping me. Why should they get chosen special people? And so they decided that they you can mute also, and that they would sign it e by hitting pause play. Kinds of conduct. Nice. Now, before we proceed to the promises that they make and the things they write down that they're going to do. You know, the universality of the program makes it more readily uh, acceptable. B but what the expanded child tax credit did was... Now, miss this station. Uh, I knew it would, but it, it could pick it up. This radio is really good at picking up faint stations. Just uh, you have to enter it in manually. She's the director of equity and civic technology at the Center for Democracy. At okay, I think on 92.7, I missed that. So let's see if we can pick up that. Oops, I adjusted the, hold on. I can't hover on the music, so that's why I have to turn it down. So we'll go 92.7, then we'll turn it up once it goes to it. Think I jumped ahead. And look it up in a library. Now all of that is online. I used that. I was ashamed, so I was ashamed of myself. So 
that missed some. Um, so you go 93.9. Just to show you how well this picks up stations. It's amazing. Okay, and then 94.7 it missed. Should be able to pick that up. Wait for it to go. To give you a $200 credit. Credit for what? A $200 credit towards the purchase of a new Beautyrest or Sealy Potropedic mattress from Hassleless. Why? Why not? Okay, I can look. Yeah, it's missing more stations, so let's try 95.9. This is a very weak station. Be surprised if I pick it up downstairs. There it is. I'm just using the 8-inch antenna. Just an excellent radio. Essential in a great rock song. The Cowbell today on 10 at 10. Featured in Hair of the Dog by Nazareth. Stone free by the Jimi Hendrix experience. It kicks. So, missed us. 98.3, we'll put that in. And then we'll conclude this here in a second. Oh wow, what the heck happened there? Okay, so I guess it missed quite a bit. That's surprising. Okay, just to let you know, there's a ton of stations it missed. Burbs wakes up with Joe and Tina. All right, so Matt Nagy is donezo. At Remember what I told you? Oh, yeah, did we ever talk about FM Experience? No, we didn't. So, FM Radio Experience. Um, so. Yeah, this is coming late into the video, but uh, you're probably expecting it. Fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. I rate this radio as uh, good to very good. It found 73 stations, which is absolutely amazing when an average analog radio such as this finds about 48. Yeah, this is amazing on FM. Uh, you're going to like it for that reason alone. Um, found 73 stations, puts it in that 3.5 star category, and selectivity got good to very good. Um, DSP radios like this do a fantastic job, especially this little tiny antenna. Um, but yeah, it's the auto scans kind of sucks. And there's no way to man manually add presets, which is unfortunate. But it it's almost done here. We'll just go ahead and. So locked on strong station. Now let's get back to our. Child but yeah, there's like 101 one. Poverty. With us is Dorothy Brown, law professor at Emory University and the author. I guess that's kind of weak. Upstairs here. Let's go one, oh, whoops. At Columbia University. One, oh, two, now let's three. bring one more voice into the conversation. So, let's uh, go to you. And let's get your top five male okay, singers of all time. Head over to our Facebook. Let me know there, okay? I can pick that up upstairs. Okay, so we're done with the FM band scan. To give you an idea, it is amazing FM radio. Uh, and I'm downstairs there, and I just see a little 8-inch antenna. That's actually done pretty good. So uh, we'll go ahead and turn this off. We'll do some final thoughts here. We'll compare the GA328 again to the Y001. Um, if I had to choose, uh, if this is on sale for $13.99, I'd pick the GA328 all day long because this does an amazing job. It has a decent headphone experience. Um, it doesn't have... It doesn't have stereo on MP3, which is unfortunate. It doesn't have Bluetooth. So if you're expecting, if you have to have Bluetooth, you'll probably want this as a Bluetooth speaker. It's the way to go. Um, don't use it for headphones, though. <laughs> That's where it misses out. If you need a recorder and you want to record FM radio, you get the 328. You don't get this one at all. This doesn't do a great job. Uh, so there's a lot of mixed uh, motions here with the radio. If you like a regular antenna, this has a regular antenna on it. I do like that. If you like a slightly bigger radio, this is slightly bigger. Um, as far as audio fidelity on the speaker, I find it's got more fidelity, though I like the little lower end punch of this radio. Let's see if I can demo that real quick. I don't know what I got in here. I think it's just old time radio right now. Similar period in any year in its history. Well, I, I don't know much about that. 
But after all, things haven't been going too well in any place. You can't blame the men. The men of an organization make money. The men of an organization lose money. And I assure you, Mr. Roberts, that during the next six months, so, this newspaper... It's got a nice low tone to it for its size. It's amazing. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and just turn that off before I let the battery run dry. Um, micro SD, eh, you know. But uh, Type-C is nice. I do like Type-C jack input. So if I had to choose, I would say get you 328 all day long. If I needed FM radio only and a Bluetooth speaker, I would pick this Y001 at 14 bucks. It's actually great as a pocket radio and MP3 player and Bluetooth speaker uh, using a speaker mode only. It's fantastic. But if I needed to record, uh, I would pick up the 328 in a heartbeat. If I want to record my FM radio, pick it up in a heartbeat. If I want to record auxiliary in, had a shortwave speak, you know, say I was running my Skywave, this little bad boy, you could actually turn this tiny speaker into a better speaker with this because it can act like a, uh, an auxiliary you know, in so you can listen to it and record it at the same time, which is fantastic. Um, that is a bonus. And of course, you can record shortwave broadcasts and different things from your radios. So let me know this is this is probably the one to get if you're not a purist on the FM radio thing. And because a lot of people don't like these antennas in a strap. So final thoughts go to this. This is a maybe purchase on the Y001 when the 328 is available. Uh, I just feel that this device has its weights and it has its disadvantages. So it's up to you to decide what you like. So there it is, the YMDJL Y001. Hopefully you got enough information out of this review to decide what you want to do. Do you want this one or this one or maybe a different one? I mean, they're, they're coming out with different ones all the time. These are the most compact units I could find at the moment. So yeah, there's options out there. And uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, give me a big like. You guys are the best. Two, if you enjoy these small, portable FM radio, speaker, Bluetooth, uh, MP3, do every little thing, <laughs> devices, let me know. Um, yeah, I'd like to hear what you have to think. Uh, and of course, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see more of these. And three, um, comment below if you're thinking about picking one of these up. I'll have, I'll have all links to this radio and links to the J328 down in the comments section. If you already own a J328, let me know what you think. I like it. I haven't found really one or two bad things on it. Just the big one was it MP3 music, you know, no MP3 stereo, unfortunately. But overall, everything about this radio I love, and I carry this in my pocket every day on my walks. I love it. Um, it runs great. I charge it once a week, if that, sometimes once every two weeks. So it does a fantastic job. Uh, this radio I may try carrying uh, just to see how well I like the MP3 playback. That's mainly what I'm using my little portables for, these little guys. Mainly for that. FM radio listening, I'd probably use this too as well, because it does have fantastic reception with that antenna. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in my next video.